Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first Alberta Business Outlook interview series. My name is John Osler, and I'm a business law partner at McCarthy Tatro in Calgary. On this episode, I'm speaking with our friend Wilson Acton. Wilson's the chief commercial officer at Verge, a tech company pushing the boundaries of traditional farming practices through enabled, optimized, and autonomous farming operations, and it's headquartered right here in Calgary. So I have a few questions for you, Wilson. Thank you for joining us. Um, tell us about what makes Alberta an ideal place for technology companies to operate. Really, I think in the in the kind of grand scheme, it's what it's what made Alberta Alberta, and that is an entrepreneurial spirit uh, of innovators and people that are that are able to and happy to and comfortable getting creative and pushing boundaries. You know, that, that's what's brought um, a lot of success to this region and, and that can do kind of lean in, work hard attitude uh, that you see often across the prairies. Um, you know, it's certainly a big part of our um, business and our culture and, and we've traveled all over the world in what, in, in, uh, what we're doing with our technology and, and it's certainly something that sets us apart is that ability to think outside the box, work hard and, uh, and really move the needle. So we're all in this new world and we're all thinking about um, what are new normals. What does the technology industry's new normal look like, uh, I guess, during and after this pandemic? It's, it's, a, it's a funny situation. You know, what is the new normal? I was having the same conversation earlier today. As a tech company, uh, you know, we were already fairly mobile and agile, um, a distributed workforce was something we were already doing. We've got people um, scattered throughout the province. Uh, we've got a good group of people in Lethbridge as well as, as here in Calgary. And then we have others in other regions and through the U.S. And so we're already normal to this distributed workflow. But what was interesting is how um, excited or positive our employees have been um, as we've continued to push and, and innovate and release products and be extremely active. In fact, we've even been hiring people through COVID, um, which has been an interesting experience on onboarding in this virtual world. It's kind of leave your laptop at your front door and, and uh, I'll step away and welcome to the team. So, you know, what, what does it look like going forward? Certainly for our business, we think it's actually going to enable it. We'll be able to and be more comfortable accessing talent that might be in other regions like in Edmonton or, or maybe they're at Drumheller or, or, um, or Saskatoon. Uh, or South Dakota. And so, you know, no longer are we concerned about bringing those people on or certainly not to the same degree. And so I think it actually accelerates our growth. Um, it'll certainly change how we, how we interface with things like traditional real estate and office space. It's not going away and, and it'll still be a big part of our team, um, but, I, but COVID will change it. At the same time, technology like ours is pushing the boundaries, um, particularly in agriculture, and I think COVID has actually accelerated people's willingness to try and adopt technology. It, it removes some of the fear out of necessity. Um, you know, we've got a customer base that was traditionally slow to make a lot of large purchases, for example, online, um, things like fertilizer and fuel and equipment. Because of COVID, they've had to for um, health reasons. But started to remove the barrier and, and started to um, bring more of that type of behavior from the customer base. So for a business like ours, I think it accelerates in a lot of ways. Um, it makes it in some ways more difficult, but in lots of ways easier to expand internationally, which is a big part for us, and um, access talent that, um, that you know, maybe we couldn't because it wasn't right here in Calgary or Lethbridge. So I want to bring up the dreaded D word. This is a word we've talked about in Alberta for generations. And suddenly, some people are starting to think it's something we need to do. It's called diversification. Tell us uh, about your views of, of Alberta's best opportunities for diversification and how Verge is playing a role in that. There's a tremendous um, number of opportunities for diversification. And I think it's because it's built on those same foundational um, attributes that, that made us a powerhouse in energy, which is that entrepreneurial, innovative, hardworking, um, um, you know, kind of hand, handshake is, is our bond kind of an attitude and, and approach. And as a result, it really stands us up to excel in lots of areas. 
we were part of that transformation ecosystem. We, we get um, a lot of opportunities to talk about this being in agriculture and technology. So we're really, you know, at the convergence of, of a number of different things, which is an interesting spot to be in because we're, we're innovative in agriculture and we're innovative in tech because um, we're sitting at that, at that cross, uh, crossroad. And, and Alberta um, has an opportunity to grow. There's a huge ecosystem around agriculture here already. Um, you know, I bring up Lethbridge, it's, it's one of the powerhouses for agri-food processing actually. A lot of people don't realize that. We've got a lot of, of big um, agriculture industry and companies that are, uh, have a significant presence here like Nutrien, which is the world's largest crop nutrient provider. Um, number of the, of the big crop protection and chemistry companies are, have a large presence here as well. So obviously I'm biased, agriculture is a big part of the ecosystem, but there's so much more than that. You know, people talk about it being um, diversification or oil and gas. Well, well it can be both. Um, the amount of technology that can be deployed in oil and gas or energy in general, you know, we're a massive um, wind energy an alternative energy hub here in Alberta. A lot of people don't realize that. You start thinking about the technology that can get deployed into any form of traditional heavy industry, whether it's manufacturing and processing, um, oil and gas, agriculture, it opens up a lot of doors. We've got a lot of smart people here in finance. Um, and so you start thinking about where we can go with this. Um, and, I, and I think that COVID has also opened up that opportunity where there really doesn't need to be any limits. We, we can build the next Shopify, um, you know, the next, the next solar and geothermal and wind powerhouse, um, uh, food processing, you, you name it, um, healthcare. We've, we've got it all, right? Bright Squid is a made in Calgary story that lots of people didn't know of before COVID and they're doing secure um, health communication, which is kind of a big deal in the world of COVID and, tele, and telemedicine. Wilson, that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, and I'd like to invite all of our viewers to learn more about Wilson's company by visiting their website at vergeag.com. And make sure you check out our firm's COVID-19 Recovery Hub, which you can find on the main page of our website at www.mccarthy.ca. And stay tuned for our next episode featuring Jennifer Carlson, the CEO and co-founder of Baby Gourmet. Thank you for watching.